I said, empty your mind. Now we're going to look at something called Bill Sow Escape and Bill Sow Recapture. This is something I am very adamant that every student knows and understands, and I ask this question often. And I'm not limiting it to these two variations, but after we deliver our Bill Sow, what are two possible scenarios that might follow? One is Escape and one is Recapture. So if I ask you, after Bill Sow, how might you follow from there, escape or recapture? It's that simple, and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So as my partner Alex comes out, he takes a left neutral stance, and I do the bill sow, step in and punch, and I implement my bill sow. I said bill sow temporarily takes over your shoulder, right? Your shoulder temporarily takes this center line position. So temporarily is the, the key word here. The minute I've implemented my Bill Sow successfully, I want to then flow on to the next. And it's usually going to be to follow up, uh, recapture my center line, or to escape and get out of there. Let's do, let's take a look at the escape first. So I'm actually going to have you stand right in front of me here. Take a right neutral stance, and I'm going to slide you over just a little bit. Perfect. So my partner's in front of me in a right neutral stance. I'm going to line up directly in front of him. We're going to share this center line, our central line, so our hands are lined up and we're not both occupying that main central line. When he punches, I'll implement my bill sow. So when he punches, bill sow, just as we did. Now from here, I'm gonna immediately, after this is delivered, follow up with the escape. And by doing that, I shift my weight to this leg, I go to my bong sow, wu sow, I drop a nice side kick, and I can take off, keeping my vision on my attacker. I never turn my back to my attacker. So let's have you go back to that right neutral. Good. So from here, step in. Shift my weight over, bong sao, wu sao for protection. Deliver this kick, and then take right off, okay? One more time. Bill sao. Good, let's go back, do me a favor, line up a little bit, perfect. Right neutral stance. Step in nice and deep, here. This is something, um, let's go this way for a second, I'm trying to get to every angle here. If he does a training range step, barely step and punch, and we're doing this at a training range, we discussed range last week, or in uh, the end of level two, lesson 31, we talked a little bit about range. When I come away from here, I'm gonna feel like he's at the tail end of my kicking range, and I'm not delivering that maximum penetration, which is the case, it's true. We're at a safety, we're at a training range. It's just something you need to be alert and aware of. That here, punch, that's a training range, no connection here, tail end of my kick. I can still kick him, but he's gonna be at that tail end of my kick. I'm not getting full delivery. Step in nice and deep. When he steps in, and that was still, most likely they'll step in deeper. See his punch, he stepped in further, Still not in a great range to deliver a punch. That would have been just the tail end of his, his fist getting me. But notice how close I am now here. So when I bong sao wu sao, I'm gonna be able to deliver a nice solid side kick to his leg. Once again, why am I doing the bong sao wu sao with the kick? It helps with balance and most importantly, protecting my upper gait. Throw again, bill sao. I still have contact of his arm here. Still feel everything. Now I'm starting to break away. My bong sao wu sao comes into place. Boom, deliver that side kick, take off, right? So this is what we call bill sao escape. One more time. Here. Boom, nice and simple. Again, here, here. <clears throat> Something I wanna talk about here upper and lower. Think about energy in your body. If you get something in your eye, you're in front of the mirror going, man, something's in my eye. You know, you're really, uh, it's annoying. And all your energy, your focus goes to there. If you have knee pain, kind of all that focus, your mind is down there into that knee pain. Well, if I ice strike him, full ice strike, 
all his energy, everything that's coming up through his body without control is kind of rushing up here and it's leaving your, your legs almost like brittle twigs. So when I, we talk about fighting back and attacking, upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, downstairs, I'm not just always being a headhunter going upstairs. He stepped in with that punch. Bill Sal, if that hit him, he'd go back, his hands go up, he grabs his eye. His legs almost look like not balanced, not rooted, kind of weak, because everything's kind of focused up here. Boom, nice crack, take off. So it's gonna cause more damage to the leg. Vice versa, if I kick you in the leg and everything goes down here, you kind of have like this unprotected energy. You're not here, here, ready, boom, a hit comes, you're prepared. Boom, a hit comes, you're prepared for it. It's really a surprise, it's a shock, and, and, it's, and it's devastating. So sometimes when you rattle somebody upstairs, you've weakened their chi downstairs, great place to attack. If I've weakened your chi downstairs, uh, or hit you downstairs, I've weakened your chi upstairs, then I'm gonna attack. I don't necessarily wanna boom, 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 always be up here, up here. I wanna mix it up, take lower gate, take upper gate, um, take where there's openings. So back to your right neutral, step in, Bill Sal, you have to have that down correctly, off the line of force, shoulder temporarily taking your center line, and then the escape, kick. And then I can take off and keep my vision on him, never turn my back to my attacker. One more time. Here, shift, kick, take off. take off. I have a lot of control when I'm kicking my partner's leg. I'm being very careful. I'm going above the knee. I'm stopping on his leg. I'm not actually kicking him. So please be careful with your partner when practicing this and delivering that side kick. Also, when you're delivering your side kick, a lot of balance is coming into play here too. You don't want to step, come over and kick. And when you kick, it pushes you off balance. Let's slide back a little here. When he steps in and I'm here, I'm sinking to this leg, very balanced and rooted. So when I deliver this kick here, it's gonna be very strong and damaging. Boom, as I come through. And then I can take off. Great. One thing I'll talk about in just a little bit, but just to mention now, you don't have to take off. From there, I could recapture, and that's what we're gonna go into next. So I'll see you in just a few moments. Thank you. So now that we reviewed our tonsal, stepping off to the side and implementing tonsal, now we're gonna we'll look at utilizing our futsal. So once again, I'm here and I'm just stepping off that line of force and implementing my futsal. Um, I'll do a few different angles here. So if I'm in my right neutral and he comes in, that would be the tonsal, and we'll come back. And you know, we'll just have you stop here so you don't have to keep going to the ground every time. Now that's my foot sal, sorry. And he gives him a nice smack to the face. Here, foot sal. And I'm kind of like almost in a ton sal position, a con sal position, my rear hand foot sal. So if my lead hand didn't make it there in time, rear hand foot sal, okay? At the same time, I can rear hand foot sal and hit and utilize a combination of, of the strike. So as we come in here, boom. And really you're jamming that out right out your center. Okay, so come in, futsal. Same thing now, this time you can take me down. Here, we can follow right through, stay on top, utilizing that futsal. Real slow, let's take a look at that. From my right neutral, off the line of force, I can let this be in a tan sal, a wu sal, or that could have punched. And then I'm redirecting the energy downward and continuing with my chain punching. So now I'm just letting foot sal, rear hand, take that. Point of reference, I'm out here like this, hey, my lead hand, this works really well, right? Maybe I happen to be like talking here and all of a sudden he shoots in, I could switch my stance to that foot sal. Just giving you different variations. So here, foot sal. I like when they come in, foot sal and getting that hidden at the same time because now I've already caused some damage. Great.
I'm going to go into right neutral. He comes in. Foot sow. Really, you shoot in, tackle me. <laughs> it really works well. I have to yeah. retract this because you're giving them a, a, a both at the same time, right? Huh? Yeah. So you're, you're, I'm just basically, I'm here in this position. If I was in this position, come in, and I wanted to switch, I could as well. Except I might not want to do that. They're very quick, and I might just choose in that position to go off to this side, gum sow, and follow, right? So. Um, one more time, real slow, what I'm doing is getting off the line of force, foot sow hit, right? And now to answer um, the question, well, what if they didn't go down from here? Just bring both hands in and grab a nice strike into that knee strike into the air, right? Nice. Alex, will you do me a favor? Will you try to take Chris down? 50 bucks if you take him down. I'm serious. Make it 100. He does cool stuff, man. See, that's what I was saying, Cecil. Yeah. Yeah, look, did it work out to his advantage? I don't, yeah. I just don't want to hit him. I know, because okay. he puts his lead foot forward, he right. don't go that way. Right, but that's all right. But regardless, it worked out well yeah, for yeah. you. Absolutely. It didn't matter. You <laughs> sidestep. You sidestep one more time. I don't care what he does. He could do a backflip. You just get off the line of force. Get off that line of force. There you go. Great. <laughs>